Hey, fam. Thank y'all so much for being here with me, tuning in and tapping in. Y'all already know who and what it is, so let's just go ahead and tap in with Spirit, get this tip for y'all real quick. See what's really going on in this general collective energy here, fam. Because it's somebody here. I keep hearing now or never. It's now or never. I don't know what's going on here with the now or never. I don't know if there's somebody finna finally shoot their shot, tell y'all how they feel, whatever it is. It really do feel like somebody feel like they're running out of time when it comes to something that has to do with you. But anywho, y'all know the messages are general. Take what resonates, please, and leave the rest. I also fair my time. So whenever you come across this message, that's what spirit has it for you. Yeah, it's going to be some truth, some clarity here. Mm. It's now or never. I don't know. To all my subscribers, thank y'all so much. And members of the channel, thank y'all so much for rocking and rolling with me. I truly do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Yeah, it's like somebody here. I'm hearing like something about upgrading a status. I don't know what that means just yet. Yeah, universal energies are at play here. It's something about upgrading a status. Hmm, but it's now or never. But anywho, even if you're not subscribed to the channel or a member, thank you so much for um, rocking and rolling with me. You know, spending some of your time. I greatly do appreciate it. Yeah, somebody could be a Taurus. Heavy Taurus energy. It's been a lot of Taurian energy coming through here. But that's giving strength if you ask me. Y'all exuding a lot of strength throughout something here. Yeah, we get Capricorn energy here as well. It's like tempting. I don't know who you are and what you're trying to do. But um, it's like something is going to be very tempted to you. This could be food. This could be a person. It's something. But it's going to be some type of temptation put right in front of y'all face here. But let's get into this. Somebody, I don't know what's going on here, but. Hope y'all doing well wherever y'all are in this crazy ass world. Y'all, I try to caption, I try to put the titles of the messages, you know, so it won't be like a guessing game. So, you know, if you read the title and right there from there, it's not for you, please don't click on it. Because, honey, I ain't going to lie to you. These days, I ain't got shit but time, and I will clap back in them comments. If the message is not for you, I don't need to know it. The collective don't need to know it. Just simply click off and move on about your day. People try to make themselves seen and like very important and things like that. When you actually making yourself look like a damn fool in front of the whole world, you sitting up commenting on the message that you saying don't have nothing to do with you. It don't resonate, things like that. So what the fuck made you click on her when the title is what it is? I'm so sick of people doing that shit, but hey, it is. People weird as fuck. Yeah, it's something here that keeps somebody running back. So stop complaining. But anywho, let's get into it. And I'm not just talking about on my channel. Yeah, Libra energy here with the justice. I, I, I watch a couple of tarot readers and you can see that shit. It's like, bro, if the message ain't got nothing to do with you, don't throw no shade or nothing like that. Just keep it pushing. Try our best to be respectful. And then when we get, we get the clapping back, then, oh, you're a karmic reader. Bitch, your mama karmic. Yeah, and then we got the six of swords right here. It could be a Libra here. That wants to come back towards y'all. Yeah, somebody here is thinking about proposing. I don't know what it is that y'all done been through. It doesn't have to be a Libra or, you know, somebody could have this highly in their chart. But it's somebody here. It feels like this person wants to propose. They want to make peace. Y'all could have some type of argument or something. Here. Somebody feel like they running out of time. But at the same at the same time, somebody don't see a way of balancing this out. What happened here? It just really feel like with these two cards, what I'm feeling is somebody was oblivious to the way that you, you, it's not that they were oblivious. It's like somebody chose not to see how much you meant to them or how much you love them or something like that. And now it's something triggering this person's heart chakra when it comes to you. Hmm. So I don't know if something been going on between you and somebody. Yeah, some of y'all ain't spoke to someone in like maybe six days, six weeks, six months. I don't know what's going on here. But somebody, they definitely want to make peace. Yeah, they just cannot figure out how. But it's giving shot clock energy because it's like it's now or never. What is this about angry cats or angry birds or something like that coming through her? Hmm. Somebody here is very jealous. It's like when it comes to you, fam, this person is very, very jealous. Every It's like, oh, somebody here, they're jealous. It's like green with envy. What is going on her?
And it's all because this person has so much love for you. What is... Yeah, we get the Five of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, and then the Universe here. Hmm. I'm telling you, somebody here, they finna, they finna propose. That's all I'm getting right here. But what is this Five of Swords, Holy Spirit? It could be an Aquarius here because it's giving like star energy. There is an Aquarius here or there is some type of healing situation. But it feels like a gamble. Somebody gambled with something and they feel like some they're going to lose. So it's like it's now or never. Yeah, somebody can have Sagittarius highly aspected in that chart. There could be a Taurus here with fire highly aspected in a, in a chart. Or there's a fire sign with Taurus highly aspected in their chart. Hmm. We got five, five here. Yeah, something here is definitely about to change. Also, somebody money. Your money finna be looking great. Yeah, somebody got a check coming through the mail. It's some type of check that's coming towards y'all. Somebody here is also, you might get some uh, some type of uh, correspondence about an inheritance here. Yeah, if this is you with the inheritance, it feels like somebody here was trying to keep something from you, but now it's coming back your way. Hmm. The five of ones is usually like stress, strife, com uh, conflict, things like that. I do feel this, but what I'm feeling it with is this is like somebody that really wants to work with you. But it's like something about them instead of, it's something that somebody keep doing. It's working against something rather than, you know, pulling something together. Yeah, look, the Hierophant. And then we got Sagittarius energy right there. Taurus, Sagittarius. Hmm, let's get farther into this, fam. Holy Spirit, what's the five of wands? Fam, if the message resonate, hit the like button for me. I see the Ace of Pentacles, the Moon card, and the Three of Cups. There is definitely somebody finna be very happy because there is money coming through. I don't know if this is coming through the mail. Uh, I don't see wire transfer. Could be with the universe out here. But this is like a small check or some kind of correspondence about money. Yeah, or this this is a ring. Somebody here is something about a ring. And with this, it's giving like ring shopping. That's for some of y'all. Yeah, look, I don't feel like some of y'all... Something here is feeling very unexpected. I'm hearing something is going to knock somebody off their feet. Oh, see. What's the five of wands? The five of cups. We got another five out here. Whatever this argument is that you and somebody had, fam. This person feels like this dead at the situation or something like that. Or I, I, that's what it's feeling like to me. It feels like somebody here, they feel like whatever this argument is that they had, y'all had, is going on along, it's going on too long. And the situation between y'all is going to be dead. And somebody, it don't feel like somebody wants that. Thank you. Yeah, the three of swords. Somebody here is definitely heartbroken in their feelings, things like that. And you know what it's giving? It's giving that somebody is in their feelings like this because if, thank you, Holy Spirit. It feels like, um, somebody feels like you closed off your heart to them. Yeah. Let me see one more on this Bible. Thank you. Yeah, eight of swords. Somebody is all in their head. They stuck because it's like, damn, is it really over? I'm hearing something about drastic measures here. Yeah, and then we get the... Five of ones again. Hmm. Hmm. 
Yeah, this is like mental imprisonment, but it's, at the same time, you see that that heart? It's like mental and emotional imprisonment here, and it has to do something with an argument that somebody had, and it's like, damn, this is really finna be over. Somebody is it's giving nervous energy here. Hmm. Yeah. Hold on, give me just a second, child. Yeah. It's it's something here about emotional distance with this nine of ones and the five of ones. 14 to a three. It's something about the emotional distance as well. Yeah, definitely fire sign energy here. Hold on, y'all. Okay, fam. Sorry about that. Yeah, but y'all look at this. I keep telling y'all, somebody here, they want to propose. Ten of Pentacles. And look how that card looks. Somebody feel like they're running out of time. So somebody here, it's like they can't lose you. They have they gotta save this situation. Cause somebody for real, they feel like you good on you on your way out. Especially if you're a female here. Somebody feel like you on your way out, headed out. So they gotta rectify this situation here. Holy Spirit. What's the Ten of Pentacles? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Yeah, some Sagittarius energy out here. Somebody, they, they want to talk. It's like messenger. here. I feel like y'all never thought that. It's like whatever this is, it's like, I don't know. It, it feel like it's been going on for a while. And it's like this is coming out of the clear blue. Out of just like thin ass air. Air, y'all finna hear from somebody. And it, I feel like it has the potential to kind of like confuse you. Because it's like, bruh, you, I ain't talked to you in like six months. And you think you just going to come back in through? Yeah, that type of energy. Some of y'all been waiting on this person because y'all knew they was going to come back. <laughs> Somebody here, they, got, they mad as hell because they been waiting on your ass to reach out and you ain't need it. So now it's like somebody like, yeah, there go that three of ones I was telling y'all about. Yeah. Yeah, it's like somebody, it's just like somebody can't feel you energetically anymore. I feel like somebody used to be able to like feel you like your love energetically. They can't feel you like that anymore. And it's kind of sending this person into like a little panic mode. Holy Spirit, what's this kind of thing Yeah, it's now or never. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, fire sign energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. Someone here could also be LGBTQ. The colors red and blue are very significant. Yeah, the magician. Somebody finna shoot they shot, bro. They gotta make this happen. Some of y'all, y'all wanted a ring from this person. You finna get it. You really, somebody is significant about these tattoos. It's a man out here. Look at these tattoos. I can't really explain, but do y'all see those tattoos? This could even be on somebody's stomach. It could be on their back. Somebody got tribal tattoos. It keeps coming out. There's an Aries here. Somebody love the way your ass look. I don't know if this is in lingerie or a swimsuit with a cover on it. Or did you take a vacation with this person or something? Okay, yeah, some of y'all took a vacation with this person. It really, but you know what? It feel like you got two different people here. Because look how it's a heart right there and a heart right there. Some of y'all could have three. But it's a, <laughs> fam, what the hell? Somebody feel like your ass got options. And it's like, you they not going to let you get away. Yeah, because so y'all, it's like y'all stuck in between. I don't know what this is, shit. If it's a love triangle, I really don't. I can't say it's a love triangle because yeah, who out here is in a damn relationship? <laughs> I don't see nobody in no damn relationship. It's just somebody wants you. They trying to call you back in. 
Mm, Holy Spirit, give me my honest two fingers, please. I really feel like somebody out here, they're putting it out to the universe and now they really want to be with you. Somebody is speaking it out into the universe. I heard somebody is now matching your energy. Hmm. So you could have wanted some type of deeper level commitment with this person. And at the time, it's like they didn't want that. But now somebody here, they want that shit. Yep. Y'all, it's somebody I heard. Oh my goodness, come through Holy Spirit. This is a glass of wine, right? This is a glass. Somebody make candles. All I see, I, baby, it's coming through. Somebody make candles because for some reason that look like candle wax on his hands to me. So somebody could make candles or their sculpts. And it's something that somebody does with, does with their hands. It's very creative. Somebody could also be an artist. You paint. But this right here, I know it's a glass of wine, but with that sword next to it, it's giving a candle. It's somebody right here, you know, it's a it's giving a red candle. Somebody's trying to put some type of love spell on you or something like that, or they just putting it out to the universe. Yeah. To call you back in. I can't really say a love spell though. Hmm. Holy Spirit. Can I get more on this Ten of Pentacles, please? Can I get more on this Ten of Pentacles? Thank you. Yeah, the Six of Wands. Somebody is damn sure about to shoot they shot. Look at this. Male or female. Somebody finna shoot they shot. It's like a shot clock going on here. And somebody refused to lose you. Hmm. I heard somebody got the go-ahead from the universe. Because somebody could have been blocked from y'all. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Damn. Yeah, somebody could have been blocked from y'all. So to the point where they couldn't come towards you until they heal. Because I keep seeing stars. Yeah, it's like something here was an epiphany moment or a wake-up moment or something for somebody around wintertime. Somebody's uh birthday could be between sep uh, September. I meant to say December. But okay, September. It could be between, uh, of course, September, but December and February. Yeah, somebody could be a Pisces, Aries, cuz. There's also an air sign with Aries somewhere in that chart. I'm hearing something about Mercury. Yeah, look, Aries, the emperor. Somebody finna step up, baby. Get ready. Y'all, I don't really feel like y'all thought y'all would ever hear from this person again. But somebody coming back. You can't make this up. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like I'm telling you, somebody here, I feel a proposal. It's honestly like, what's that song by, um, what's his name? Mario? I, it says, I can feel your heart crying out for me. Come on in, come on in, come on in and save me. So some of y'all, this is what you want from this person. You want a commitment. You want a ring. You want the engagement. I don't know what the hell done happened here, but somebody here, yeah, they it's gonna happen. Somebody here, it's like their spirit guides or something like that. Is they're being guided back towards you. Now they can come. Hmm. Yeah, somebody's spirit animal. I'm hearing a wolf, an owl. Somebody could be born in the year of the snake. Something here is also some about coyotes. I'm not sure. Somebody paints. It keeps coming up. Somebody paints. It's like oil paintings or something like that. Ace of Cups, babe. This ain't no joke. Yo. Y'all have been patient. Somebody been patiently waiting. I feel like also somebody here, they've been trying to get their uh, their their money up or something like that. Hmm. Yeah, this is interesting. Holy Spirit, what's the, um, the justice? Thank you. The Ace of Swords. Somebody, oh my. This is 
very specific. Somebody here, I don't know if this is, again, it came up before. Somebody could be a lawyer. I'm hearing a doctor. But it's something here to do with uh, cardiovascular. Somebody, you might need to get some tests ran here. Or this is like, I don't know if somebody passed over, but it, it's becoming very specific. Um, something is about a, phys a physician's assistant. I don't know what's going on here. Somebody here is malpractice suit. Pretty much. I, that's what I've been trying to get to. I don't know where that came from, but the male practice suit. Yeah, something here didn't go right. I don't know where that came from. It just like flew out there. <laughs> but anywho, there is justice here. Everything being balanced out. Somebody here, yeah, they've received the information that they needed about a certain situation but uh, pertaining to you. Hold on, y'all. Sorry about that, y'all. My son is watching a, a some type of little short on YouTube, and it has something to do with a crying monkey, and that just made my baby cry so bad. <laughs> oh, I, he's so sweet. But I'm sorry about it, but yeah, I just had to share that with y'all. But there's somebody here. It's like they have the information that they need. You see how I look? I ain't never noticed this. Y'all see how it look like an open book right there, but none are open right here. Somebody right here. They, it's like, I don't know why they needed to gain more information on a situation pertaining to you. Or it's just like this person felt like they had to level up, but they wanted to take the proper steps. I don't know what the heck this is. Holy Spirit, what's more? Give me more on this justice card, please. Thank you. Yeah, look, the damn, the two of ones. Somebody right here, they have been doing studying. Okie dokie, let's get to it. Here we go. Because I told y'all somebody are trying to call you back in. They've been doing studying. Either somebody has been doing, uh, I heard something about root work. Oh, goodness. we uh, Somebody has been studying. And there's a heart on the end of that sword. Could come through. Spirit all up and through this message. This damn show confirmation or something for somebody. Because here go the heart from right here. Damn. They've been doing uh, research here. This could be on you. This could be on a twin flame journey. This could just be on uh, spiritual. It's some type of research. Holy Spirit, what is this research about? Thank you. The Four of Cups. I heard compatibility. Yeah, somebody here, they was trying, they trying to, they were trying to. Feel out if y'all were compatible or something like that. I don't know what the hell this is. Y'all could have met this person at a birthday party or some type of celebration or something like that. This person tries their damn to ignore you or whatever the hell it is they feel. They tried. They can't anymore. Yeah. I don't know. For some of y'all that had this argument, it's like the person that they're the part their person. It's like they feel like you don't want to have shit to do with them. Whatever this is, it feels like a missed opportunity to this person. They, I don't know. Yeah, Pisces energy here with the hangman. Somebody definitely stuck on you, honey. All these hearts flying throughout these cars and roses or... Something, man, what y'all done argued about? Somebody here done threw the roses or flowers that they got for Valentine's Day in the trash or some shit like that. Yeah, the card, the flowers. <laughs> what did somebody do? But whatever it is, somebody's, they, they're they coming through with some piece of jewelry. It's either a ring or a necklace. It's something, but because I see a jewelry box. Yeah, the Empress. Man, this person is not letting you go. No, they not going to let you get away. You can't make it a king of cups here. Somebody's all the way in love with you, Empress. All the way. You could be younger than this person. This person could be younger than you, but it's damn sure age difference here. Somebody right here, they're, I don't know what this level up is or more information they had to gain or, you know, waiting for spirits to unblock them from you or whatever the fuck it is. Somebody right here, they done learned they got them lesson. Somebody done learned the lesson. They done learned the lesson. They got all the information that they need about y'all's situation here. Yeah, they want to, to talk. Somebody finds you absolutely gorgeous. 
Yeah, some of y'all, this this is, unfortunately, I know this ain't what y'all want to hear, but it's, of course, it's somebody from y'all past. I don't want no past person. Ooh, okay, you don't have to want them. That don't make them not want your ass. Shit, they think about you a lot, whomever they are. Some of y'all, is this somebody missing their daddy? My condolences, because it seems, yeah, I'm hearing that song to uh, dance with my father again. It's like when I was a child. Somebody here, they could have also, it's like they could have learned some really bad habits when it comes to love from the from the male figures in their life. The father figure or, you know, just whomever this is. Yeah, somebody right here, they need, they have to, it's like the, a perspective change here. The distance between you and somebody y'all time apart, it's had this person doing a lot of reflecting on y'all's relationship and what the fuck it is you actually mean to them, fam, seriously. Of course, it's not going to be for everybody because I don't want him back. Okay, some people out here that watch the road, they do want their person back. So this is their message and not yours if you don't want them back. Yeah. Something here is about, I don't know what is going on here with something about a physician. Cause I see somebody here, you have to, somebody had a lot of tests ran or a lot of blood drawn or something like that. Yeah, we get the sun card here, Leo energy, baby. This is a good ass reading. Some of y'all could have children with this person. It's given like anemia. So I don't know if this is sickle cell anemia that I'm picking up on or um, it's something like that. Whatever it is, it's inherited. I don't know why that's coming out. I have no clue. Hmm. Somebody I heard, I don't know what this is about seeing their grandchildren. Yeah, Taurus energy again with the Hierophant. Some of y'all that haven't been in contact, it's a Pisces I heard that hasn't been in contact with their, their father or Something like that. Your father is thinking about you a lot. I don't know if your father is like having a, like health issues or something like that, but they're thinking about you and their grandchildren a lot. I cannot tell you that this person want to see you. I just see that this person right here, they're thinking about you a lot. Yeah, and why they did whatever the fuck it is that they did. I don't I don't know. I'm not gonna get into that. Holy Spirit, what's the six of swords here? Yeah, the hermit. Somebody want to come back around. Y'all haven't seen or talked to this person in a while. But somebody here, they've been doing some deep contemplating, reflecting, things like that on how they treated you, what they did, what they said, the things that went on between y'all. It's like all of a sudden, somebody's like, damn, that's me. That's mine. That's my person. I can't let my person go be with somebody else. I heard somebody saying, I was stupid. I was stupid. I'm stupid. Yeah, because I don't know what somebody did. Holy Spirit. The full card. Thank you. The tower. Whatever it is somebody did to make your ass walk away, or if this was them walking away from you, they like they shouldn't have never did whatever the fuck it was. Yeah, something here. This person feel like been going on way too long. It's too much emotional distance. Hmm. Yeah, it's a lot of hidden emotions here. Somebody been hiding their emotions for like a really long time when it comes to you. So how the fuck you supposed to know if this person's serious about you when they won't open up their mouth and say nothing? I don't get what's going. It's a it's a lot going on here. Holy Spirit, six of swords. Yeah, the strength card, Virgo, Leo. Taurus. Hmm. Holy Spirit. Why is the strength over here? Yeah, we get the five of pentacles. I mean, the five of wands and the five of pentacles. This came out before. Somebody here is, it came out, it's coming out again. There is somebody here. This is possibly a father figure that y'all haven't seen in a while. This person could be on a on a deathbed. But of course, y'all know there is no gender in tarot. Could be a mother, whomever it is. But I'm seeing a father figure. Somebody's uh, parent could also be like LGBTQ. You could be LGBTQ. Whatever the the just take the energy I resonate. Um, no, no, no. 
Because I feel like this person, right? The spirit is like, no, five of ones, five of pentacles. Because it could, you re, uh, going back around this person, it could like result in some type of argument or fight or something like that. Even if this is, I don't know whose parent this is. It could be the parent of your child. I don't know. Take the energy how it resonates. Yeah, the high priestess comes up in the reverse. Somebody here, they want you to open your mouth and talk to them. They want to know what's really going on. They want to know if this is really over. Can this be fixed? Things like that. Are you seeing somebody else? Do you still love them? What What's going on? Somebody don't know. But they damn sure want you to open up. Yeah, four of ones right here. I told y'all somebody been doing research on the twin flame journey. But also with this high priestess in the reverse, somebody they never trusted their intuition when it came to you. Never. Hmm. Yeah, see this right here is getting kind of weird because now somebody coming through the readings here that didn't want you to move on but wanted to keep you stuck in some type of third party situation and kept telling you that you didn't know what the fuck it is you know you know your intuition is on point here you know it so that that energy just switched real fucking quick but this is kind of like i'm telling you this is like somebody father her that's all I'm getting. I'm not getting that this is a past like lover. I'm getting that this is somebody's father who hate the fact that your ass know what you know and want you to not know that shit. Also, it's somebody out here trying to act like this a parent out here trying to act like they don't know why the fuck you don't talk to them or fuck with them or you keep your distance or something like that. They know damn well why you don't deal with them. Somebody stole some damn inheritance. Somebody done tried to get somebody kids taken away. It's all kind of shit coming out in this reading. People be killing me. And they be acting like, I don't know. I don't know. Bitch, you know damn well what the hell it is you did to get family the energy that they eating towards your ass. Quit playing. Yeah, man, I wouldn't go back around whomever this is. It ain't giving no good vibes. But let's move on here. Yeah, the King of Pentacles right here. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Yeah, we get the Three of Cups right here. I feel like somebody here, they not interested in... All somebody want to do is work, 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 work. Like, I don't know what the fuck is going on here. All I know is somebody here, they're not interested in any type of third party anymore. See how that person is looking away? It ain't nothing nobody can do to entice this person again. Yeah, because all they want to do is be with you. Somebody wants to marry you. Also, it's like, I don't know if this father is like a, a minister or a preacher or a priest or whatever is going on. I don't really feel like somebody agrees with your spirituality and this is a problem for this person or it has been for a long time. But now that this person is on their deathbed or something like that, they want your ass to come back around. I really feel like spirit is saying this is a no go because it could result in an argument or, or something like that. It could open up all wounds, spirit is saying. Yeah, because I ain't going to lie her. It feel like somebody trying to make somebody mama look like a hoe. When it's like, bro, you wasn't even there to help my mama raise me. So how the fuck you going to talk about my mama or something like that? Yeah, that bird just started chirping outside my window. Yeah, this crazy. Somebody here is, is, is very specific. I don't know who you are, but you could have been like the result of like a, 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 an affair. Like your father could have been married or like your mother could have been married. And you know, you were the result of that. But of course, they're married to different people. Let's clear that up. Holy Spirit, please. Yeah, ten of swords right here. That says divorce. So, your parents could have been married when you was conceived. But either way it goes, this is some, if the, this is, this, the ending of this is something completely different than the beginning. 
There's somebody's father here. I don't know, but this person want to come back around. But damn, that ten of swords, y'all. I would not trust this person for real. Also, something here is about an inheritance. So your father could be leaving you some type of money. Or, you know, this could be a grandfather. Yeah, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. Why am I getting this? Somebody, man, I'm not finna get into all that. Just know that your daddy, he want to come back around for whatever the fuck reason. And there is possibly a, I don't know what the hell is going on with this, this third party. I don't even care. Yeah, somebody's parent could have went off and married somebody else. This person could be around the same age as you. Very young. I don't know. I don't even know why the fuck that's coming through. Why do this person want to come through and, and talk to fam? Why do this this um, King of Cups energy? Now, when I say father, this could even be the father of your children. It's just like a father figure out here. Why does this person want to come back around fam now? Mm. Yeah, somebody could live at a distance from y'all. This person right here, they want to catch a flight. Father, Lord, Holy Spirit, the four of cups here. It's something that this person regret. Hold on, y'all. Yo. Either way it goes, no matter what, whomever this is coming back towards you, whether it be a somebody you in an argument with or ain't seen in six months, whatever it is, somebody regret what the fuck it is they do and they want to try to make this situation right. But there, the Ten of Pentacles is out here twice. There's an inher inheritance here. But it's also like a lot of nostalgic ass energy and remorse, things like that. Yeah, so somebody's coming to rush in towards you to make this shit right, I'm telling you. Or they finna try to. Yeah, Six of Pentacles here. Y'all getting some type of gift. This could be some money. This It really feels like to me. Okay, let's say that your daddy got married to somebody. He wasn't a part of your life because he was busy giving to his new wife or whatever the fuck. This person right here, they're coming back around to give you now, give you your flowers as well as in a fucking apology. Somebody else here, they, it's like after sending you all around the world and all of this other kind of shit through y'all's connection, now this person is having this big ass epiphany moment that no, they don't need the third parties. They don't need nobody else. All they need is you. So now I'm telling you, somebody, no matter where you are on the spectrum of this board, somebody here, they want to come through and give you some type of gift to try to make this situation right. If this is your father up here, spirit is telling you to think twice before uh, agreeing to meet up with this person because it could open up old wounds and start a, a huge argument. Hmm. Yeah, but either way it go, I feel, yeah, some of y'all, this is a love situation here, two of cups. But we also got the five of swords right here. Somebody right here, it really feel like they were trying to run from a connection. And they can't run anymore. They can't run. Somebody here is being held accountable for something as well. Hmm. Holy Spirit. Thank you. Yeah, Queen of Wands, Ace of Swords, the Fool card. It's like somebody here wants y'all to let bygones be bygones and start over from like fresh, from ground zero. Just work y'all way back up to building something. Yeah, look, the Judgment card. Yeah. I really do feel like somebody here, they want to take accountability for whatever it is they did and try to rectify the situation with you. I don't know if it's too late or not. Yeah, but I'm telling you, somebody now, they got the go-ahead from spirit to come back towards you and try to make this right for him. But again, you have free will to do whatever with this energy, whatever you want to do. You know what I'm talking about? Whether you accept this person back or not, this has been the reading. If it resonates, y'all hit the like button for me. Comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, y'all. Personal readings are open. If you're interested, fam, all of that information will be in the description box below, along with the link for the memberships if you're interested in joining the channel. Y'all, it's always my pleasure, of course. Thank y'all so much for allowing me to read for y'all. 
Sending each and every one of you guys loving, healing energy wherever y'all may be in this crazy ass world, fam. And we'll most definitely get back up.